Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Last time on the old top five list, we began a long awaited update in the world of Devil Fruits, detailing the best that One Piece has to offer. And this time around, we need to move in the exact opposite direction and look at the worst. Now keen viewers will notice that I have made this list before, but that was just under two years ago and a lot has changed between now and then, mainly as a result of daily onslaughts of comments on the original video. So now it's time to re-examine the worst Devil Fruits. But Grand Line Review, you. There are no such thing as a worst devil fruit because it depends on how you use it. Well, random commenter who I've never seen on my channel before, now you sir are wrong. Because in any given group of things, unless they are completely identical in every way, there is going to be a best and there is going to be a worst. And after you've seen the contenders we have today, I think you'll agree. Speaking of, the criteria for this list is as follows. These shameful specimens will be examined based on the effect they have on your mediocre everyday human. This means, and I really want to stress this, that we will not be taking the devil fruit users into account. Only the powers granted by the fruit itself. So just because I say that a fruit here is one of the worst does not mean that I am dissing a character, which really shouldn't need to be said, but after the original video, apparently it does, because people take personal offense when I criticize devil fruits owned by certain characters. Also very notably for this list, I will not be taking artificial devil fruits into account, because most of the list would probably be populated with stupid smile fruits if I were to allow them in. Furthermore, all devil fruits on this list must be canon, and no, filler alpaca cannons do not count. Although to be completely honest with you, even if they did, it might not actually make this list. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the new and improved top five worst devil fruits in One Piece. Number five. The Fuku Fuku no Mi. Beginning this list today is a devil fruit that a lot of people still don't seem to realize is an actual devil fruit. So just to get that out of the way, yes, Kinemon has eaten a devil fruit, although he himself is completely unaware of what they are or how they work, which is why he refers to it as magic and ninjutsu. And I mean, the main giveaway here should be that a samurai is using ninjutsu. In any case, how this fruit works is that it allows its user to create clothing out of leaves and stones, possibly other things, through the power of sheer imagination. So perhaps it is a bit unfair to place it on this list because the usefulness of the fruit is 100% tied to its wielder. So someone with a more fashionable mind than Kinemon may indeed be able to make great things from its power. But the biggest problem is that these clothes instantly disappear once removed, which dashes any chances of starting up any form of business from these magical garbs that the user is able to produce. Now this fruit was on my original top five worst list, and one of the main arguments as to why it shouldn't be was because there was potential for the user to craft something exceptional, and a lot of people use the Iron Man armor as an example of that. And while I don't deny that the fruit can be used to create basic armor, I think that going full Tony Stark is a bit of a stretch. And I mean, even if it were possible, it would require a user who had the knowledge to design and implement such a suit in the first place, or else the user is just summoning a chunk of metal, no more valuable than a knight's armor. But that said, this fruit is still useful and not what I would call bad by any means. It would be incredibly convenient to have in the real world, but I just don't think that you can do anywhere near as much with it as almost every other devil fruit in the series. And that's why the Fuku Fuku no Mi finds itself here once again, but this time in the opening spot. Number four. The Nagi Nagi no Mi. All right, here we have a new contender for the worst Devil Fruits list, and it was certainly an oversight for me not to have included it on the original list. The Nagi Nagi no Mi is a Paramecia type fruit that allows its user to generate a perfectly soundproof field. That's kind of it. There's sadly not much more to say. I mean, once again, I would not call this a bad Devil Fruit, but it does have an extraordinarily niche use. I imagine it would be pretty fantastic if you were in the world of recording because it would save potentially thousands of dollars on soundproofing equipment. But other than that, it's really only great for someone who needs a bit of peace or quiet, or a silent environment for sleeping, neither of which should be underestimated, they're both very important. But as for wider applications and potential, it just it doesn't really exist. In the series, it was used to have a private conversation, and then more as a plot device to enhance the tragedy of Law's backstory. I mean, I guess it would be pretty fantastic for stealth as well, but these are such minor benefits in regards to the grand scheme of the massive world of Devil Fruits that it really does feel like one of the worst in comparison to everything else we could attain from other options. Oh well, at least almost everything else. Number three, 
the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund. Moving into the realm of Zoan fruits, the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund is an ability that has the potential to do you more harm than good. Dachshunds are not creatures that nature ever intended to create, and becoming one is very much not recommended, because they are incredibly prone to rupturing discs in their very vulnerable and very long backs. This makes invoking the powers of this fruit a very dangerous proposition, and for what benefit? In your full beast form, the user would probably have less mobility than they would if they had just stayed human. The only real benefit to consuming this fruit would be the potential of a highly increased ability to smell, as dachshunds, believe it or not, were originally hunting dogs. Bred to hunt badgers, actually. So you know, if hunting badgers is your thing, then sure, go for it, I guess. Otherwise, just no. This fruit is the first one that I will call just plain bad. The only decent use for it is how we saw it used in the series, to create a fun pet who shoots baseballs at your enemies. However, for an everyday person, it's an undeniably bad devil fruit. Number two, the Jake Jake no Mi. Another clothing-based devil fruit, what a surprise. This fruit is a bit different though, because it allows the user to turn into a jacket, yes, you heard correctly, a jacket, and when the user is worn by someone else, they assume control of the wearer's body, and it can maybe make them stronger, although it's actually implied by Kelly Funk that all he gains control of is his brother's body, and the combination of his brother's base strength with Kelly Funk's battle instincts is what allows them to make this whole endeavor worth pursuing. And with that in mind, let's go over the main argument I received when I put this fruit on the previous worst list. It goes a little something like this. But Grand Line Review, what if Kaido turned into a jacket and was worn by Whitebeard? And that argument gets said as if they'd fused to become some kind of super being. But instead, what you would get is a suicidal and even more alcoholic Whitebeard. The jacket would do nothing to enhance these two godly powers. But the biggest problem with the jacket Jaki no Mi is that the user cannot do a single thing with it on their own. They become a jacket, and if nobody puts them on, then they're screwed. This fruit, even when its ideal conditions are met, has a limited effect. And if you can't find a partner to work with, then you may as well walk into your closet and drape yourself on a coat hanger because that is the best possible use of your quote unquote powers. But with that in mind, we still have number one. The Hito Hito no Mi. Look, anybody who has been viewing this channel for long enough probably predicted this, but here we are again. This channel has labeled this as the worst possible devil fruit for human consumption on at least three separate occasions before now. And it's for the very, very simple reason that it has the potential to do absolutely nothing. The power of Zoan fruits comes from the mixing of DNA between certain species. So for example, Chopper uses the Hito Hito no Mi very well because through his mixture of reindeer and human DNA, he can morph himself into a variety of different forms based on combining the two radically different species. If you are a human eating this fruit, you will not receive the same transformations, even the basic ones that aren't Rumble Ball prompted. And if you want to know my argument as to why, go and watch this video. And before we start with the whole actually grand line review, I once read on a random forum on the internet that provided no source that the Hito Hito no Mi would grant a human enlightenment. Just be aware that that entire enlightenment thing is a myth, and if you want proof, then go and watch this video. But ground line review, Sengaku ate a Hito Hito no Mi and he became a giant Buddha. Yes, random commenter, he did. But that happened to be a mythical devil fruit, the Hito Hito no Mi model Daibutsu. Chopper ate the plain old Hito Hito no Mi. It's like comparing Marco's Tori Tori no Mi to Bell's Tori Tori no Mi. One transforms you into a mythical blue phoenix and the other one makes you a regular bird. And that's what this devil fruit is, a regular human. And with no differing DNA of your own to interact with it, it's entirely possible that this fruit will do absolutely nothing except cost you the ability to swim. It might have some minor benefits, but that is all pure speculation. There is not a single One Piece fan out there who can tell me with 100% certainty that this fruit will do something beneficial for a human. And it is for that reason that the Hito Hito no Mi is simply too risky for human consumption, and more than likely actively hindering yourself if you were to do so. And that's why it once again champions this list. But that pretty much does it for the new and improved top five worst devil fruits in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your own worst devil fruits in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.